Anything less than pH 7 is considered acidic. Anything more than pH 7 is considered alkaline. So as you get lower and lower in the number, it's more and more acidic. Things less than pH 4, 4 is the magic number, are extremely acidic and can cause a lot of problems. So we want to really stay above 4 and if we can, at least initially, to heal above 5. Coffee and chocolate, not that acidic, pH 6, but what do they do? They not only loosen the lower esophageal muscle, but they also increase acid production by the stomach. There's an enzyme in the stomach that breaks down protein called pepsin, P-E-P-S-I-N. Pepsin normally sits in the stomach and it gets activated at very acidic environments. The stomach is very acidic, again, less than pH 4. Pepsin was found a few years ago, not very long ago, to float. Where does it float to? It floats up. It can sit on the vocal cords. It can sit in the sinuses. It can sit in the middle ear spaces, in the lungs. And when you eat or drink something less than pH 4, it turns on. And what you eat starts eating you. Again, I call them the dirty half dozen. Easy to remember. So two of them we shouldn't be eating or drinking anyway. And what is that? Sugary or diet soda, sugary or diet bottled iced tea. Really almost any beverage in a can, bottle, or box is very, very acidic. The way I look at it, people say, oh I just have oh I just have one or two of those a month. I say I only pour battery acid down my throat twice a month. So that, that, that's what it's like, and people dismiss it, I get the hand wave, no. But then there are four healthy things, which I call the four under four, meaning the four substances under pH four. What are they? Citrus, tomato sauce, not tomato, tomato sauce, vinegar, wine. Again, I can hear the groans. I have the best wine collection east of the Mississippi, okay. but. You should be aware if you're coming in with certain symptoms and you're eating or drinking certain things, this is why. And when you eat or drink, say, a balsamic vinegar, it's acidic and it releases, activates tissue-bound pepsin and causes inflammation. It gives you the hoarseness. It swells the sinuses. It can irritate the lungs. And this we really didn't know. And it gets a little more interesting because as little as two years ago, it was shown that when you have an acid injury, it's not just a superficial injury that if you keep, keep eating or drinking certain things, it gets deeper and deeper. That's not what happens. As soon as you eat or drink something that's very acidic, you get a body-wide inflammatory response. This was absolutely shocking. It only came out in 2016. And the reason why this is so important you're getting a body-wide inflammatory response. So what was clinically, you know, we're, we're saying to patients, get on the acid water diet, avoid these very acidic things, and then they're coming back to us and saying, hey, my psoriasis went away, my Crohn's disease improved, my, my irritable bowel improved. And as it turns out, this body-wide inflammatory response is what's happening. So while we're recommending this diet, we're paying attention to what our patients are telling us, and now the science is sort of backed into what we developed, and it's telling us that it's going to help inflammation everywhere.